right now working on a custom board for a gentleman down in Southern California. Uh, this model is a lifter. It's probably one of my more popular designs, the lifter. It's a sort of at first glance, it kind of looks like an egg. Kind of just looking at it briefly, round, round nose, round tail. Usually, or at least when I started, it was a um, twin fin. And then it's kind of evolved to include other fin options like a uh, Twinser. This one's a Twinser. And then also started doing them as a quad. All kind of like give a little, little unique sort of feel. Now, is this the same board that you have out there? The not the brown one, but the the other brown the one. The other brown one. And so this this is a shorter lifter, six uh, six three. The shorter ones, I put a second bump in the tail to bring the template narrower in the tail, while still keeping a straighter rail profile for speed and flow, and kind of still have a little bit of that mid length kind of feel to it um, for trim. Um, and then yeah, this one has the twins or fin set up. So the small leading fin with a standard kind of upright twin fin in the rear. And I noticed this one has the, um, the channel. Yeah, it? there's four that, channels, two sets. Are you going to do the same thing with yeah. that board? Yeah. So, so that comes in later? That comes in just now. Okay. Now is now when that is when that's going in. And, uh, and that's definitely like an integral part of the lifter design. And with the triplane, which a lot of my designs have this triplane bottom. Um, and along with that, that's definitely like the lifter kind of feel. Good all around, kind of do anything board. This is the shaping room where all the shaping happens and the lighting is really specific. Um, the lights are low and to the side with a shelf above them. So they cast the light across the board and that allows you to see all the different contours. Um, contrast it with, if I flip on the, the overhead light. So if you look at the board with just the side lights, and put the overhead light in on you. You know you lose so much of the contrast. That's so noticeable. Yeah. It just, it just became like a, a whiteout. Yeah. And if I were to turn off the side lights, I mean you'd lose even more. It's just like what even is what am I even looking at? So it's it's really awesome to be able to work with this light, and it's definitely evolved through the decades of making boards. Shaping room. It's awesome. It's, you know one of the raddest spots to be, and this is the fiberglassing. Kind so of you, zone. you glass your own and boards as well? I glass only the custom boards for individuals. So if it's for an individual, um, then it makes sense for me to glass the board. I get to have all of my attention like on the board at every step. And I like having that come out in the product. So this is just, yeah, stacks of colors. I try to do art on, on most boards, assuming that the customer is... Uh, is down for that and it's evolved to be a lot of different things over the years sometimes it's spray cans that i'm stenciling off sometimes um it's with resin so i have sent some of these like like these cups full of resin uh to jewelry makers um and they'll cut they'll pop it out and and cut through it and make jewelry out of it all right, so you've cut your rail band, and now look, 
like your next step is to use a foam pad? Yeah, the, this abrasive pad to um, take out a little bit more foam, a little bit of the meat out of that rail, just a little bit, and then just to, just to smooth it out. Not too much, just a little bit. Round that last little bit. So Jacob, if somebody wants to order a board from you, what's the, the best way to go about that? The best? The best way is just call me direct. Just call my phone. Um, there's so many different ways. Like, you can call me, you can email me, um, you can message me on Instagram. My phone numbers, I mean, it's all on the internet. Website, jivesurf.com. Uh, Instagram's kind of, they're both nice places to go. Instagram's like a little more of an up to, up to date kind of a portfolio. Um, website has like all the different board models there and Yeah, Poly's my preference because I focus more on the design. Um, and the shape of the board using the traditional materials, polyurethane foam, um, polyester resin, fiberglass. I'm going to do an agave board. Agave? Yeah. Okay, tell me about agave. Agave, you can use agave instead of foam, similar to like you might use balsa uh, instead of foam, kind of similar properties. It's strength to weight is, is really favorable. It's really, really light and it's pretty similar to foam. Um, but then it's natural material and you can, you know, glass it the same way. It, I try to rely on every step being right and, and then it usually all adds up. So being, being right. So as long as I each step is kind of what it's supposed to be, then I don't have to measure that much like throughout the process. Keep each step accurate, you know, starting even with just, just getting the outline totally perfect. Each rail pass like perfect, symmetrical. And then when you add it all up, you, you kind of just that's, you get what you're going for. Sweet. 
done. Well done. <laughs> well done. Fantastic <sighs> watching you craft this board. That was a real treat. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Now, yeah. does this board get any artwork? Right. Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, this one actually gets um, artwork that I don't do as often anymore. It's like one of my earlier designs and I use resin. Um, it makes like a cool swirly pattern. So yeah, I'll tape that off, this sort of grid here, and then uh, yeah, we'll pour some resin in. That's pretty cool to watch actually. All right, here's the story. You can see that I'm wearing a different shirt and so is Jacob over there. The thing is, we filmed the footage that you just saw yesterday and that included this amazing element of Jacob doing his artwork back here on that board up there. But unfortunately, when I got home and I started editing, I discovered all the files were corrupt and unusable, which is really kind of a bummer because that was a big part of this. But fortunately, Jacob has offered to let us come back and watch him do his art and film another episode and I think that works out even better. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the likes, shares, comments, and all that other good stuff. Thank you for subscribing. Take care, be good people, and hopefully see you out in the water on your new Jive spacecraft. That's it. Jivesurf.com. See you guys next time. Okay, let's see. Wait, that's, that's a, what the hell is that? That's not an at. That's an at. Right, okay. That drive surf. Surf.com. There it is.